Welcome to Share My Lesson. In this video, I'll be sharing my insights and experiences from participating in the Australian Informatics Olympiad, commonly known as the AIO. Additionally, I'll provide valuable tips and strategies to help you prepare effectively for this competition. The AIO is a national competition for high school students in computer science and informatics, taking place in a span of three hours, with competitors being in the years 7 through to 12, students learning how the realm of coding even extends to real world scenarios. This competition is an opportunity for students across Australia to demonstrate advanced problem solving and computer programming skills. They will use problem solving skills and algorithmic thinking to come up with strategies for solving problems and programming skills to turn these strategies into code. The questions cover a range of difficulty, challenging students of all skill levels. The leading students will be given an opportunity to be selected for the Australian team for the International Olympiad in Informatics, or the IOI. This has been held since 1989 and is the largest of the scientific Olympiads. Although you may not progress to the next stage in this competition, you will still find this experience both enriching and insightful, preparing you for the digital age. Let's look at the contest environment and some of the rules that go with it. Each student has access to one computer and can bring pens, calculators and stationery, including a print and source code and handwritten notes. They may submit solutions to problems in C, C++, Java or Python 3, four programming languages, each with its perks. Students are free to use any text editors like Sublime, Notepad and TextEdit, and IDEs like Eclipse or Xcode, and shells they have on the computer. This includes any documentation, compilers or templates that come installed with these. Students will be provided with solution templates. These are pre-written programs available in each of the supported languages which already perform the necessary file input and output for the student. These templates are a foundation for code and it's highly recommended that you use it. Before the competition, it's crucial that you have some preparation. You first need to download an IDE. Personally, I use Visual Code. Your text editor depends on your OS. If you have a Mac, you can use TextEdit if you're on Windows, you can use Notepad or Notepad++. I would now like to discuss the four programming languages C, C++, Java and Python 3. Take C++. This language has a more challenging syntax, but has operations which make it easier to solve more challenging questions. C is a lower level language to C++, making it easy to learn but more challenging to solve more advanced mathematical questions. Java has the largest syntax, meaning that performing challenging mathematical operations is easier. Python 3 has a simple and readable syntax, making it easy to read and write mathematical operations. But for this, you're salvaging the opportunity to solve more challenging questions efficiently. Each of these three programming languages has its advantages, but I use C++ because I find it engaging to learn a more difficult language but ultimately rewarding because of the efficiency I can solve more challenging problems. AIO provides a very useful platform called ORAC2 for students to submit and assess the scripts. As you can see on the website, you can register and create an account. You will then have access to many problems ordered from difficulty. Begin with the starter problems and slowly progress. You'll find that you will also have access to other people's solutions, which you can read and observe how they work their way to the solutions. Let's try to resolve a question called election 2 by using Python. First of all, we have to find a template they provide and save it.
let's have a look at the code. This code reads input from a file named elec.txt and determines the majority vote among three candidates, which are A, B, and C. First, it opens the input file in read mode and the output file in write mode. Then, it reads the first line of the input file to get a number of votes, n, and converts it into an integer. Next, it initializes three variables a, b, and c to keep track of the number of votes for each candidate. Then, it reads the second line of the input file and assigns it to variable v. The code then enters a loop that iterates n times. In each iteration, it checks the characters at index i of v. If it is a, it incremates the counter for candidate a or a. Similarly, if it is b, it incremates the counter for candidate b or b. And if it is c, it incremates the counter for candidate c. After the loop, the code determines which candidate has the most votes by comparing the values of A, B, and C. If candidate A has the most votes, it checks if candidate A has the same number of votes as candidates B or C. If so, it writes T, which is an abbreviation for tie, to the output file. Otherwise, it writes A to the output file. Similarly, if candidate B has the most votes, it checks for a tie and writes T or B accordingly. If candidate C has the most vote, it is a similar system and it checks for a tie and writes T or C accordingly. After we write the program, we can upload and check the solution. As you can see, you will get full marks if you code the program to produce the required outcome. Some further resources can be found on my GitHub repository, which has some of my solutions for the questions on ORAC2. You can find some useful links in the description below. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video.